A healthy evening, everyone, and welcome here at, at the, the top. top. Johnny Schofield, Millie Gleason, Live the Dream, Be Privileged, with Uno Premier, at the top. Thank you to all our televiewers tuning in to our show every week. Marami tayo magandang feedback regarding our topics and one of them is about Nutrifab, the product of Uno Premier that is the newest breakthrough in losing weight without extra diet and exercise. You know, we talked about its four major ingredients and one of them is Garcinia Cambogia, which is pegged as the miracle fruit that helps in losing weight. Marami nagsasabing nakakabitin ang episode natin na yon because they want to know more about Garcinia Cambogia. So mga televiewers natin, don't worry, because in our next episode, babalikan natin ang Nutrifab. And of course, Mili, yung Legion's makeup of Uno Premier that has gold microparticles in it, marami din ang interesado. And Johnny, huwag natin ipawalang bahala ang mga inspiring stories natin, especially yung kwento ng President of Uno Premier, William Barbo. Yes, Mili, grabe talaga ang story ni William Barbo, di ba? Mm-hmm. And kung kaya ni William baguhin ang buhay niya for the better, I'm sure you can also empower your life with Uno Premier. And later in the show, he will tell us about the exciting plans of Uno Premier. Thank you for taking interest in the show. Talaga pong nakakataba ng puso. And speaking of puso, tonight's episode will be all about Pro Cardio, another great product brought to you by the top-notch company Uno Premier na makakatulong sa heart natin. Very timely, no? They say that heart disease ay isang traidor na sakit. According to some medical studies, one person dies of stroke every nine minutes. Grabe, di ba? Very alarming. Oo nga. But thanks to medical breakthroughs, ha, medyo mape-prevent natin ang drastic number of deaths caused by heart disease and stroke. Well, let's watch this short video material from the net. When we talk about the heart, the first thing that comes to mind is love and romance. But we almost always forget heart's main function to sustain life. Here in the Philippines, coronary heart disease and stroke rank first and third respectively in causes of death. The alarming reality according to the World Health Organization is that the Philippines in 2011 ranked number 79 in the world in terms of coronary heart disease deaths. It has a record of almost 58,000 deaths in that year alone. And that means an average of 158 deaths in a day. A heart attack occurs when the blood supply to the heart muscles get blocked and deprived of precious nutrients. Then the affected heart muscles die. Most Filipinos do not lead a healthy lifestyle. We tend to relax too much and eat too much. Today we will explore the ways to prevent the silent killer disease. Give you the heart facts and details only here at the top. Heart diseases and strokes are believed to be silent killers and its effects are traumatic. Well, actually, Mili, some get paralyzed, di ba? Mm-hmm. And for others naman, instant death, which is really kind of scary. So I guess very relevant on topic natin tonight. Uh, we will talk about the cause and prevention of these silent killers, heart attack and stroke. Makakasama po natin ang mga very special guest doctors natin. But before we take a break, mga televiewers, don't change the channel kasi at the end of the show, we will have a special question na pwede ninyong i-text sa amin and the winner will receive a special prize from Uno Premier. Lahat ito sa pagbabalik na At The Talk! Back to at the top. Paano ho ba tayo makakaiwas sa heart attack or stroke? Sa mga panahon na ito, hindi lang matatanda ang may panganit sa ganitong sakit. Today, we are privileged to have here with us experts on heart disease and stroke. 
Dr. Berwin Flores, a cardiologist at the Philippine Heart Center, and Dr. Ferdinand Soledad, our family integrative medicine practitioner, and Dr. Charlene Tablang with occupational health medicine. Uh, well, I guess the first question we'd like to ask you is, um, since we know that right now, one of the prevailing diseases in our society is heart attack and stroke. Um, but can you explain to us why is that? Uh, it's really very alarming that uh, heart attack and strokes are very common in the Philippines. It's actually the number one killer here in, the, uh, in our country. It actually surpasses the uh, infectious diseases like tuberculosis nowadays. Um, sino ba ang mga prone sa disease na ito? Mas more ba sa men or sa women? Do you have a statistics that you hold in Philippine Heart Center? Uh, ano mo, Mili, ano, uh, sa second or uh, third or fourth decade, mas common yan sa lalaki. No? Okay. And after the menopausal, six or seven decade, mas ngayon nagka-catch up naman ang mga, bab mga babae. No? Bakit nga ba? So, Bakit nga ba? Oh, oh. <laughs> Kasi ganito yan. No? Uh, sa lalaki, uh, may mga hormones tayo na nagkakaiba sa babae. Like sa lalaki, is testosterone. Testosterone is actually, kaya tayo nagiging masculine ng mga lalaki. Right, sa babae right. naman, yung estrogen. Kaya nga sila magaganda at uh, femininity. Okay, no? Okay, no? Ganyan. Yes. Kaya mas simili. <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, ngayon, ano pa nagagawa ng testosterone? Testosterone actually lowers down the HDL, the good cholesterol, and increases the LDL, the bad cholesterol. While in comparison to your female, sa babae, your estrogen actually increases your good cholesterol, lower down your bad cholesterol, the LDL. After the menopausal, nawawala na yung estrogen. Kaya nagka-cuts na sila. So marami nagkakasakit sa puso naman ang babae, sa 6 and 70 k. Actually, ang common cause ng strokes and heart attacks ay kinatawag natin atherosclerosis. No? Yes. So ang mga uh, nagiging predisposed naman ito, tinatawag tayong risk factors. Ito yung mga katangian na pag mayroon ka nito, napipredispose ka na magkakaroon ng heart attack and stroke. Ano mga mga, mga, mga bato? Ito, sample is like, may, may tinatawag tayong modifiable risk factors. Ito yung age, habang tumatanda tayo, talagang nagkakaroon tayo ng mga barado sa ugat. No? Isa is yung sex natin, yung male and female. Male is more predisposed at younger age. Another is family history. Kung mayroon kang... Nanay o tatay na nagkasakit at early age ng heart attack, predisposed ka rin. Predisposed, yes. And also, there are risk factors that are modifiable. Ito yung naninigarilyo. Another is hypertension, yung pagtaas ng blood pressure. Another is also sedentary life, yung walang exercise. Yung tutulog-tulog lang. Doc, ano bang mga, kunyari may kamag-anak tayo na mag nagsasuffer na pala ng heart attack or, you know, stroke? Paano, anong symptoms nito para malaman natin and ng ating televiewers? Uh, unahin natin yung heart attack. No? Ang karamihang nakikita natin sa pasyente ay paninikip ng dibdib. Ito yung feeling na parang may nakadagan na mabigat na babigat sa bagay sa kanilang dibdib. Usually substernal, sometimes it radiates to the jaw or dito sa ating left arm. Another is yung nahirapang huminga kasi kung minsan pag nag-heart attack, pumapalya yung puso, nagkakaroon ng tubig sa baga. So nahirapang huminga. Sometimes nawawalang bigla ng malay. Ito yung nagkakaroon ng tinatawag na arrhythmia. No? Ito yung common cause ng death tinatawag namin atrial uh, ventricular fibrillation or ventricular tachycardia. Ito yung cause ng sudden death. Right. Yung iba naman, very unusual yung presentations. Yung iba nga, epigastric pain na pagkakamala na indigestions. So mag-ingat pa rin kung may mga ganun. No? How about sa stroke naman? Ang stroke kasi, yung, ang usually nararamdaman ng pasyente, either nagkakaroon ng nawawalan ng lakas, ang kalahating parte ng katawan, either left or right, nawawalan ng pakiramdam, numbness, and sometimes nawawala ng ulirat. No? Kumisan, nag-slurring speech is also a part of stroke. Uh, so, Doc Soledad, no? um, tanong lang, no? uh, since this is a very, very bad thing that we're experiencing, right, with heart disease and stroke, is there a, a natural solution or I say a health supplement that can actually help with such conditions? Yeah, uh, Jenny, there's really, you know, may, may magagawa tayo dyan, no? Uh, unang-una, nabangit na ni Dr. Berwin about modifiable risk factors. Unang-una, dapat natin i-address yun. Uh, kung yung age, wala tayong magagawa. Everybody's aging. However, yung exercise, kailangan natin gawin. Diba? Your water intake should be enough for you also. Yung, yung type ng pagkain is another modifiable risk. Diba? So kung gagawin natin yun, sabi nga ni Dr. Kanin, it's a healthy lifestyle. We should be involved in a healthy lifestyle. But other than that, 
you can actually help using supplementation also. We have a product known as ProCardio na ang laman naman niya, ang component niya will help us control the deposits na binasabi ni Doc kanina about yung atherosclerosis or arteriosclerosis. Nagkakaroon ng deposit yung mga ugat mo or yung tubo ng ating gatawan na para matanggal yon we have something that uh, will actually remove it or tunawin ito. Ang pagtunaw nun ay nandun sa produktong meron tayo which is known as ProCardio. Uh, and when you say ProCardio, when you say pagtutunaw, mm -hmm. ano ibig mo sabihin? Ina uh, paano niya inaalis yan yung plaque sa, sa, sa arteries or veins? Does it somehow lower the cholesterol, triglyceride levels or something like that? Actually, it's not actually the, ano, the plaque. No? When you have plaque kasi, kapag meron kang plaque or deposits dun sa ugat, no? mm -hmm. it causes nag increase yung probability na magkakaroon ng blood clotting ah, okay. o pamumuo ng dugo. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that is what, uh, what is being prevented by the product that we have. Yung pagkakaroon ng pamumuo ng dugo. Dr. Charlene, ano nga ba yung dalawang active ingredients dyan sa ProCardio? Actually, ProCardio has natokinase, which is a anti-fibrinolytic, and red yeast, which is a, it acts like a statin. Right. Dr. Soledad, can you explain that to us even more for, uh, uh, further? Yeah, when you say fibrinolytic action, no, ito na nga yung kakayahan nung uh, elemento na to, nitong ingredients na to, na tumulong sa pagtunaw nung posibleng magkukos ng pagbabara. Yun yung clotting, no? And ito namang sinasabi natin na isang component, which is red yeast, ang kakayahan naman ito ay kahalintulad ng mga medisinang uh, ginagamit na natin sa pagkontrol ng, o pagpababa ng kolesterol, like mga statin drugs. Doctor, if I may ask you, what, what would be your intake or, or your inputs on what you just heard? Actually, one of the treatment of cholesterol, and it was really proven na napapahaba yung buhay, na prevent ang heart attack and stroke, mm -hmm. is statins. No? Marami ng pag-aral po yan sa Amerika at sa anong bansa sa uh, ating mm -hmm. daigdig na to na ang statins really nakakapababa ng bad cholesterol so napiprevent yung magkakaroon ng heart attack and stroke. Yun naman ang sinasabi nila sa fibrinolytic. Actually, kung napapansin nyo, marami pong binibigay ang mga cardiologist na like aspirin, clopidogrel, at yung mga gamot na para hindi mag-clot agad para ma-prevent din ang aspeto ng heart attack and stroke. Uh, parang like blood thinning? Yes, blood thinner. I see, I see. Yes, so if these two products can actually act similar to a statin drug, then there would be some beneficial in that, would you say? If it's really the same uh, effect on statins, that's a, that's a good news to us. I see. Well, it, you know, it sounds pretty exciting that we have something here that's an alternative to a drug, and it can function the same way. I think that sounds very interesting. I'm sure our viewers would be, uh, you know, interested in finding out more. Yes. Yeah. So, Dr. Saladad, if we take this uh, product, the cardio product, are there still any food restrictions? Can we eat anything we uh, like? Actually, uh, maganda yung talang mo, Miri. <laughs> no? uh, importante kasi pa rin yung tinatawag nating healthy na diet. No? So, importante na tayo, kahit nakitake tayo ng mga produktong suplemento na katulad nito, na nakakatulong na nga at similar ang kakayahan sa mga uh, gamot, no? uh, eh, importante pa rin yung tamang pagkain. Hindi ibig sabihin ito, pwede ka nang kumain ng lahat ng mawantikang pagkain. No? Hindi, pa rin, <laughs> hindi pa rin allowable yung pagkain ng masyadong mga produkto magpapataas ng asukal sa iyo, which is also a risk factor sa pagkakaroon ng karamdaman na uh, maglilid sa heart attack. Uh, mga televiewers, si Dr. Flores ay isang batikang doktor, hindi lang sa Philippine Heart Center at sa buong Pilipinas pa. So, sana makinig kayo sa sasabihin ni Dr. Flores sa atin. Ano? Dr. Flores, if you have a message to our televiewers, yeah, uh, alam mo, nag-iisa yung puso natin, alagaan natin to. So, paano natin nga ba alagaan to? So, have a healthy lifestyle, no? Kung naninigay nyo, it's time to stop. Kung wala ka exercise, mag-exercise na tayo. And mag-weight reduction. So, tama lang yung katawan natin. I I yung mga tagubili namin mga doktor ay dapat din sundin, no? So, Dr. Soledad, ano masasabi mo tungkol sa yung uno premier uh, product natin, yung Pro Cardio? Well, susundan ko, sususugan ko yung sinabi ni Dr. Flores, no? Iisa lang ang puso natin, mm -hmm. so we should take care of them. Now, uh, ang kailangan natin, with, with pro-cardio, malaking tulong sa ating mga uh, tagapanood, mga, mga tagapakinig na rin at the same time, na gagamitin nila itong ating produkto. Kasi, we know for a fact na hindi lahat ng tao kayang sundin yung tamang lifestyle. Yeah, no? right. So, 
this product Guilty. will actually help them no reduce the effect of those bad habits so definitely this is a must use product on a regular basis hindi natin sinasabing gamot ito but definitely it will help those individuals prevent this kind of sickness uh, so dr charlene anong message na gusto mo i-share sa mga televiewers natin Thank you, Sir Johnny. So, just what like our great doctor said here, uh, siguro sa mga kabataan, we only have one heart and um, uh, take care of it. Uh, prevention is better than cure. So, diet with exercise. So, there you go. Uh, here we have it from three of our very well-known and prestigious doctors. Uh, thank you for sharing, doctor and doctora. And if you want to know more about this product, tawag lang po kayo sa numbers sa screen natin. And since our doctors are talking about eating healthy food, we'd like you to take a look at this fabulous spread by our caterer for today. So with us today, we have no other than the owner himself, Rufi Rebanal of Le Grande Restaurant and Catering and Chef Dan Del Mundo. So thank you for being here. Thank you. Yes, yeah, so you know, uh, our topic today is about sa puso, no? So ang tanong po, um, what would what would you have, what would you like to say about your food? Is it is it healthy, ba? Oh yes, lahat po ng pagkain natin is healthy. Like, meron po tayong um, we start with buttered vegetables, yes. chicken golden blue, okay. Scotch egg with mushroom with gravy sauce, and we have uh, beef with broccoli. Wow, it looks very delicious. And what would you say about the health benefits? Uh, it's all health benefits here because it's a very heart friendly. Very heart friendly, huh? Yeah. Do you use any type of trans fat uh, ingredients? Uh, no, sir, because we are we use uh, uh, non fat butter and uh, cheese here ah, in preparing the foods. I see. Well, it looks very, very, very delicious. And I want to thank you for you know uh, sharing this uh, delicious food with us today. Yes, and I'm sir. sure we're all going to enjoy it here. So, sir uh, Rebanal, so maybe yes, uh, baka merong kang ano, message para sa ating mga viewers today. What would you like to say? Yes, Sir Johnny. Uh, actually, ang pagkain po natin ay uh, ito po ay para sa ating mga kababayan. At ito po is uh, healthy food. At um, let us patronize uh, our restaurant, which is Le Grande Restaurant. And um, ito po is talagang ginagawa po ito is from our heart. And um, of course, especially ang mga tao po ngayon is uh, health conscious. And uh, kaya inahanda po natin ito is para po sa ating mga kababayan. And you are located at? Yes, uh, our, our place is at the back of Lyceum, uh, General Trias, Cavite. Okay, well, thank you very much for being here today, and I'm sure we're all going to enjoy your delicious food. So back to you, Millie. Una started in 2007, and since then, this company has produced many millionaires in the past eight years. Everything is history, Johnny, and now Uno has evolved into what we are celebrating here today, Uno Premiere. And with every successful endeavor, Shampre, great people are behind it. When we come back, our very own Mr. William Barbo, the president and one of the founders of Uno Premier. Good morning, Sir William. Good morning. Just a few weeks ago, you had a big launch for the Uno Premiere, right. and it was fabulous at the Valkyrie. Tell us more about this, why Uno Premiere? We started with uh, Uno Local eight and a half years ago, and then we saw that the Uno Local for the past eight and a half years ago, we are able to cater only the, the Masa mm -hmm. market. And then one and a half years ago, we decided to go international and then uh, we launched and enhanced the compensation plan of UNO Local and then brought it to other countries such in Hong Kong, Macau, Singapore, Dubai, Abu Dhabi, Sharjah, Al Ain, and Nigeria and USA, also in the United Kingdom. Wow, and then cool. it went well, very well. Mm -hmm. Just last year, August, we decided to bring it here in the Philippines. We decided to call it UNO Premier to cater for the upscale market, more professional, uh, more mature market. So is it safe to say that uh, Uno Premier is like the high end of Uno Local? Yes, exactly. What is your mission po for, uh, for Uno Premier? Yeah, we have a lot of uh, new players in the industry, uh, businessmen, uh, celebrities, even uh, other politicians are joining us. Our uh, mission with uh, Uno Premier is to uh, somehow 
elevate the standard of uh, multi-level marketing in the industry here in the Philippines mm -hmm. and then eventually bring it to a lot of countries uh, worldwide. I have seen a lot of representatives from different countries. Yeah. So um, even OFWs have invested in, uh, in, in this business. What is your vision? Ano po nakikita nyo later on in, like, in, a, in a few years? Our primary uh, role is of course to improve the lifestyle and the living of all the OFW mm -hmm. uh, in other countries. Sila yung unang target ng Uno Premier na makita nila na merong magandang opportunity dito sa Pilipinas na hindi nila kailangan lumabas ng bansa and still they will be making more than the money they are making outside the Philippines. And what makes it so good for OFWs is that they're in a different country. Ginagawa nilang sideline to apart from their regular job, may sideline pa sila. So they have really improved their um, financial stability. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, napakarami na ngayon uh, for the past uh, one and a half years in operation of UNO Premier in uh, other countries. Napakarami ng mga kababayan natin yung natulungan ng business ng Uno Premier. Yung iba sa kanila, in fact, umuwi na rito sa Philippines for good. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, of course, hindi tayo humihinto roon. Patuloy na tumutulong yung uh, company para sa mga kababayan natin in other countries para mabigyan sila ng magandang kabuhayan and eventually umuwi rin ng Pilipinas for good. Mm -hmm. Pero yung maganda rito, although umuwi sila ng Pilipinas, hindi sila may stock dito sa Philippines. Mm -hmm. Kasi maganda sa Uno Premier, napakarami ng branches sa international. So, later on also, they will be forced to travel. Pero this time, nasa, not as an employee, but as entrepreneur. So, combination na to, kumbaga business with pleasure na rin at the same time. As you mentioned, Sir William, that uh, we're targeting a bit of a high-end market. If I own my business, why do you think I should go into... Uh, joining this uh, this this uh, Uno Premier business. Why upscale market uh, would be interested in the business, no? Upscale market, sila na tinatawag natin mga privilege. But at the same time, of course, these people are business-minded people. They want to earn more. So, we would like also to empower them through the Uno Premier. Sabi nga ng isa sa pinaka, uh, I would say, successful, di ba? Warren Buffett, di ba? You don't just put your eggs into one basket. Diba? So, yun yung opportunity na in-offer namin by offering Uno Premier as another source of income, another source, source of profit for those business-minded uh, people. Sir William, can you tell us more about the new office that you have shown us at the launch of Uno Premier, the Valkyrie? Ah, yeah, no. So, Uno Premier will be having its uh, own office uh, and yung maganda rito, it will be located in uh, the newest business hub in the metropolis. I'm talking about Bonifacio Global City. Yes. So very, very soon, three, three mm -hmm. months from now, uh, we hope to open this uh, branch. Yung maganda rito, since we are targeting the upscale market, uh, yung pinapagawa namin ngayon is, ito yung interior would be similar to five-star hotels. Yes. Yun yung itsura niya. Uno Premier would elevate the standard of multi-level marketing in the country. And you feel really privileged once you, you see this, uh, this interior of this office. Yes. It's oh, so nice. They, nicely done, all the interiors. Uh, common networking company, of course, mm -hmm. when, you prom uh, when they promote their business, uh, they have these regular presentations, no? Mm -hmm. Wherein people will attend the seminar, mm -hmm. na medyo marami yung tao, there's one speaker. Dito ginawa namin, uh, marami siyang boardroom sa loob. So, medyo may exclusivity in business presentation. And then, every member or uh, business partner or consultant dito sa Uno Premier, they would be able to present the business in a more conducive venue and more... Uh, personal. Yeah, personal mm -hmm. and uh, ambience na napakaganda. This is all very exciting for all of us uh, members of Uno Premier. Now, how would you, um, would you like to invite our televiewers to join Uno Premier? Yeah, of course, Mili. Uh, I'm inviting lahat ng mga televiewers natin to take uh, this opportunity of Uno Premier. Yung maganda rito, ang timing is perfect. Nasa pioneering stage, nasa infancy stage. Definitely, you have heard of Uno Local, wherein we have uh, almost 100 branches, Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. We have been in the industry for quite some time, eight and a half years, and very successful. 
So we will just uh, use the same strategy and uh, yung maganda lang dito is enhance yung compensation plan. Yung products are much much more uh, premier. Kaya uh, grab the opportunity. Timing is perfect. Thank you so much Sir William. William Barbo ladies and gentlemen, the president of Uno Premier. Kaya mga televiewers, join na kayo sa Uno Premier. At the top, we'll be right back. Be privileged. Welcome back here at At The Top. William Barbo is the W in the WHO. He is also the president of Uno Premier, the leading marketing business in the country today. Next week, we will meet the second and third component of the WHO, Brother Herbie and Oliver Chua. Like they say, they are known as the big three, William, Herbie, and Oliver. In short, the WHO. Well, at the beginning of the show, we promised to give some of our lucky viewers special gifts. So if you tuned in and listened, get ready to answer our question. Here it is. What is the name of the product from Uno Premier that has natto canase extract and red yeast rice extract? We will pick one of the winners from the first 30 people to give us the correct answer through text. Give your name and contact number. We will also announce the winner in our upcoming episode. You can text us through the numbers below. Well, mga televiewers, it's time to end the show. We hope that you learned a lot from this episode. Just remember, in the end, it's not the years in your life that count. It's the life in your years. With that note, stay healthy and wealthy through UNO Premier. Take care of your heart. It's the only one you've got. Be privileged and see you next week at, at the, the top. top.